Hmm? What do you mean by uh, soft lock lemon? Actually, what soft locks are there in this game? I find it interesting that uh, Fida said she'd met Royd before. But where? Alright, so Elle is just determined not to be with us. What a pain. soft lock. If you run too fast, you get stuck in the stairs. That's interesting. the end of Wong. And with a bit of luck, the end of the princess. Yes, I never gave up on you once. We'll go with that. What is nice is that you can go back to Tibet and visit her. I didn't know that for the longest time. I think it was only three years ago that I found her there. Alright, let's go fly. The game progresses pretty rapidly at this point. Yeah, I have to agree, the music from the castles isn't that enjoyable, but I wonder if that's just because I tend to get lost and destroyed in the castles. Well, no need to worry about castles again, we're back in freedom. Let's go get us an airplane.
Alright, pilot wings mode engaged. And there is so much extra stuff that we can do right now, but no, I just want to fly. This opens up a new area, right over here. Isn't there a button to go fast? Oh well, who knows. And this is time for a very rapid change of the mood in this game. Where does the game even think we are right now? Well, if that would be Kola, maybe this would be Novgorod? No, too far away for that. Oh well, that's neither here nor there. Let's check this place out. Mosque. What could that possibly be referenced to? So this place is populated entirely by members of the KKK, full of Baruga's uh, disciples. Now, in our dream, the Great Elder told us to go and resurrect or find or awaken a man called Baruga, so he's apparently a genius that we need to unlock. Okay, serum. I'll be having a lot of that because I don't want to die. And holy water. I'll grab some of that as well. I don't remember ever using it before. 50 gems, the most expensive place to stay at night, I think. It's like Gold Town from Secret of Mana. This town had an entirely different name in the German version Devota or something. I do not fear death, I have total faith in Baruga's words. Baruga declared that an age where we no longer fear death shall come. Everybody has these uh, pictures of Baruga on the wall. He is waiting quietly in the castle he built himself. When the time comes he shall rise again to save the believers. Okay, well it's our task to uh, waken him up. See, everybody's got a picture of him. Steal the magic rock offering to Baruga. Now this is the same music that was playing in the zombie town. Probably trying to tell you that something isn't quite right. There's a little lecture you can get here about Baruga and I want to take it. Yes. Time for education. So, the world and science progress rapidly whenever you do anything in this game, so I think even by today's standards in the real world, we're in the future now, with advanced biotechnology and immortality research. But we want to resurrect this guy, I mean, that could only be a good thing, right? Oh, 
Jeez. I am not quite sure where I'm going here. Let's get those lights on. Might help out a bit. This is the crawl space that I often miss. But for once you remembered something, well, can't be that important. Alright, sure, I'll take uh, better armor no matter where. Best dungeon theme in the game right here. I would agree with that. There's something almost Resident Evil 2 about it. Alright. Good to know that... <laughs> We're not taking double damage... Um, double digit damage from the robots. So I can be satisfied with that. And we should still really kill them as we come across them since these this is not nearly enough leveling to take care of uh, the final boss or maybe even the boss of this lab because this lab's boss well let's just hope for the best Lemon knows all about this guy More or less a test to see if you have mastered the endless um, dash attack. See, really, that's what Baruga needs. Doesn't need any more biotechnological engineering. He just needs to master the dash attack. Then he'll never die. Okay, with everything on, I think the elevator now works. dashing. Okay, I'm still not that good at it. Whatever, down we go. I'm not sure how far down we're meant to go. But we might be alright going all the way. Not sure. Really not sure. Oh well, it doesn't let us anyway, that's a clear sign that this is where we need to go. Jake, did you visit Neo Tokyo in the developer building before this? No, I didn't bother with that. I'm well aware that you can build Quintet, and uh, once you clear this dungeon, you will never be able to do that. Which is a shame. But this isn't 100% run by any stretch of the imagination, so we're not going for that. I'm a busy man. So thanks for stopping by, Lemon. I do appreciate it. If I'm not mistaken, if you are wanting to grind out levels at this point in the game, this is the room to do it. Although, as I said before, I despise grinding. press here. As I've said many times before, rubbish at dungeons. Hmm. 
The basic idea is that there's a lot of text we're skipping in this game. I mean, I'm trying to get most of it, but there are tons of extras and lots of town development that you can do. And if you want to see what happens when you do that, then play the game. It's a real gem, and it was not released in America, so... Okay, right, our strength went down making our attacks. About as useless as throwing jelly at these robots. I wonder how long that actually lasts. There we go. Buzz off. Make no mistake, when you get one of these special potions, you drink them up straight away. Is it implied that Ark lived thousands of years? Yes. Mm, actually, that is a difficult one. Because Columbus lives forever as well. You can actually go and visit him later on, and he will remark upon how, after seeing um, robots and flying vehicles, his techniques of navigation feel pretty prehistoric. So there is some kind of strange time dilation going on around here. Probably best not to think too much about it. Ark, at the very least. Well, he's been around since the dawn of time. He resurrected the world. But then Ark is a god. Well, he's not a god, he's the god. Even in death, she still haunts us. Bloody Mary. But I don't think that ever gets explained. Yeah, why does Yomi know that? It's later explained why Yomi does know that, but why is it Bloody Mary? Alright, we could unlock a whole lot of flavour text about this lab. Oh, hell, let's do it anyway. I'm not a busy man. Today an airborne infectious virus of 90% mortality struck named Asmodeus. The virus decimated the human populace. Some were saved by vaccine, but lack of food spelled doom. So I'm wondering if the implications are that this whole facility was around before the world sank into the ocean before, because that told us that Asmodeus had already infected the world, but the world is fine right now. The lore, it's too deep for me. Any insight onto that lemon? Or other people that have played this game before? I mean, without spoiling the main parts of it. Alright, let's go and arouse. What's his face? I'm so tempted to call him Burgundy. Let's go and arouse Burgundy from his slumber. with your literal definition of decimated.
All right, time to learn to dash or die. Now this guy, you defeat him by attacking his legs. Oh wow, that's nice. I guess I did over level. Normally you would be doing a pathetic amount of damage to his legs whilst he would destroy you and he would throw things like that at you and you would dash like this anticipating the lag that hits you and the lag will hit you. Oh, strength down isn't very uh, good for me though. But no, I way over leveled. Yeah, this is what you would generally be doing to him and you'd be trying to master the dash attack. Else he would do what? 30, 40 damage to you per hit? Oh well. This is the better outcome. Because I'd be dead by now. Alright, enough playing around, let's just kill him. Save Burgundy. Remember, the Elder sent us to do this. We must foster the growth of mankind by saving. Uh, I've forgotten his real name now. Baruga. And as you can tell by the cheerful music, we have definitely done good stuff. I have no idea who you are, but I thank you for arousing me. I am Baruga. Practitioner of science. Like us, he also wears a poncho. Okay, so there was the implication. He, Asmodeus, did hit before everything was resurrected. Perhaps that's the reason why everything died. But we resurrected it. these guys. Okay, so Ark's having second thoughts about what he's just done. But Baruga says the unnecessary will die. Nope, can't stand for that. Virtue's last reward. Hmm. I guess our life is unnecessary. Please enjoy the ending of Terra Nigma.
Alright, so we've just doomed the world. But thankfully Lord Kamari, uh, spawn of humankind or something like that, some important guru guy that we resurrected early on, he saved our ass. What's he have to say? He's a very wise man. You met him, didn't you? Baruga, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't mention that I just saved him and doomed the world. Star of darkness and bread disharmony, the balance of life was uh, shattered. Okay, so uh, there is a way to change the fate of this doomed world, and we need to find six star stones and place them at the world's grave end. Well, we actually visited that place earlier by accident when we were going for the uh, mermaid armor, so we know exactly where we're going. Well, at least to do that, I don't know where all the star stones are. I know where half of them are. Anyway, this is something I didn't realize. This graveyard here, guess who's waiting for us? Oh. <laughs> okay, I have not seen this dialogue before. Now that is cute. Ah, she's not as unlikable as I thought. Let's go out of here, though. There is a world to save. But where and how, I'm trying to remember. Oh, hell no, I don't want to cross this again. What was it? Left. Down. Up, left, up. 